Reese is going to take the snap and down the ball. Notre Dame closing out a battle royal at Ross Aid Stadium with their arch rivals from Indiana, the Purdue Boilermakers. When you're, you're opening the season with the kind of schedule we have, uh, it's important that not only do you have to play well on Saturday, you have to make sure that your players are taken care of leading up to Saturday. It's okay to be physically tired. We can take care of that. But mentally, you should be as sharp as can be right now and ready to absolutely let it go this Saturday. We know what we got to do. Let's go do it. Playing three Big Ten teams in a row is really difficult out of the gate. So what we have to do is make sure that our guys are healthy. We got to make sure that they're managing their time, getting proper rest, nutrition. Uh, and our practices have to be such that we adjust them uh, to make sure that we're not banging our kids too much. We've got to get them ready for Saturdays when you play three Big Ten opponents this early in the season. You're good. It's a race in between the games to recover. And Michigan State's got to do the same thing. They've got to recover from their game. And um, whoever's going to recover the, the quickest and uh, be the, the sharpest physically and mentally is going to have an edge going into the game. All right, Prince. Right now, for us, it's about the race to recover, and, and that's what you're seeing right here. These guys that got back from Purdue 36 hours ago, and they're in here weight training already. Hopefully, you feel better when you leave than when you came in. Did you see Fox? Did you see Fox? And it hurts like hell to do that exercise, but he also knows that if he can do it, it's going to keep him strong all season. For me, you know, it's tough because I've, you know, I've battled through a lot of injuries and stuff so you know you play Purdue and you play Michigan and Michigan State that's you know those are three heavy hitting teams so you, you feel it the next day you're really sore. Right out the gate our guys are playing three four full games you know other teams may have their starters only playing for half or three quarters of a game but I think our starters ended up playing 60 70 plays three games in a row. Well, our physical toll is equal to that of what those teams are doing at the end of the year. Our role as the sports medicine staff then becomes even more important early in the season to make sure our guys are recovering so that we don't fall backwards in November. Friday night for us is just a final tune-up. For Cam's side of things, what you see on the field is exactly what he does day in, day out for us from a physical side of things, getting treatment. I mean, he's going to play through anything. It's one of the reasons why you come to Notre Dame, because you know that you're going to be playing in big time games week in and week out. That's just an opportunity that I think all of these guys here at Notre Dame and on this football team really embrace, because that's what we signed up for. I'm in the treatment room, and uh, I was kind of hesitant. I'm kind of down a little bit. but. He said we still have another day, another couple of hours, and I was going to get treatment in the morning, and we're going to see how it felt in the morning. Inside your Achilles here? I'm still having hopeful wishes, but in the back of my head, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play. Dan's been hurt on and off since fall camp. The thing that helps us is he's a fifth-year guy that understands what the physical nature of football is, and he's doing his part each week to get in for treatment. You can't play well if you're hurt or you're sore, so you got to make sure you can, you know, try to alleviate some of that pain or you know fix some of your injuries as soon as you can. They're going to bed hopefully Friday night, feeling like I'm as good as I can be and I'm ready to go for game day on Saturday. On the last day of summer, it's a splendid fall-like Saturday in South Bend, where the Notre Dame football team returns home to take on Michigan State. I was going through warm-ups. I kind of felt better. You ready for today? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yes, always. Are. Have fun. And then when we got to the individual drills, I was doing drills and uh, I pushed off the wrong way, and I kind of felt a slight pain. And I was like, if I can't do this against somebody that's going half speed and we're just warming up. I don't think I could do it against somebody that's going full speed trying to push me back. Sheldon Day with an ankle problem is in uniform, worked out this week, but he's not starting. It kind of hit me and I was uh, just kind of hurt. And I was saying I put all this work in to get prepared for the game, all this treatment, and now I'm not going to be able to play. It kind of 
put me down in a little funk. I've had to sit out from games and, you know, that's never a fun feeling, especially being somebody that contributes to the level that Sheldon does to this team. I know that that was tough for him and I know that he's going to do whatever he possibly can to get back as soon as possible. We go through all this stuff, we go through winter workouts to summer conditioning, all this stuff, and then when you finally get to game day and you can't participate, that's just something that's it's crushing. And so when you get to the end and they're not going to make it, it's hard for everyone to sit with. He's one of my closest friends on the team and at this whole school and for a guy like Sheldon that feeling is, is very hard to deal with. I know he felt very helpless during that time during the game. Being around my teammates, they definitely helped me out, you know, just they saying, you'll get them next week, you know, we need you out there just to help coach, we need your eyes, just things like that to encourage me to get back into the game. The 233rd consecutive sellout crowd welcomes home Notre Dame. really can't think about how you feel because once the first play happens, you know, it really doesn't matter how you feel. You know, you have to perform. Quick out. Dan Fox brings him down. Cam McDaniel in the backfield. McDaniel, head down, both arms on the ball. Spartans working hard to strip it. Two consecutive plays at a five yard carry. Reese hands this one off to Cam McDaniel, in playing with a cast on his hand. Fractured a bone there, you can see it. Yep. Practice. And then a five yard loss. <laughs> Again, it is McDaniel. Great defensive play by the Spartans, and there's a loss of five yards on the play. I really felt like, you know, that's how those games go at times where, you know, you throw a right hook and and then you get uppercutted by the other guys right. When you come to Notre Dame, you know you're gonna get, you know, the best opponents in every game. So that's what, you know, that's what I'm excited for, and that's what I look for too. Running wide is Hill, and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. A tremendous play by Dan Fox. Center of the ring, swing from the hips. Knockdown drag out, Spartan fighting Irish game. Yet another, the 77th meeting. Injured or not injured, you're in, if you're in the game, you need to do your job and do what you need to do. If you're not, you, you don't need to be in the game. We're trusting what he's going to tell us from an injury side of things, and that's built over time prior to that injury. So when he got hurt, it then is a quicker communication because we have an understanding with one another based on previous history. And I was just in a, an emotional state where I was really more intense, I would say. I don't know. I was just really in a mad, angry state. They got all their big body wide receivers in. They're either going to run the football or throw it up high. It gets me excited when I know the play is running right off my head as you're right inside of me. Because I know you're going to be that guy that has to make that block. McDaniel, both arms on the ball, running hard. He's going in. McDaniel breaks the tie. They never laid a glove on him. What blocking. Another good block there by Ronnie Stanley. I was real emotional about that moment. I was proud of myself for finishing that drive because I was in a lot of pain during that time. For Cam's side of things, on Tuesday, he's thinking he's not going to play. So on Tuesday, after practice, he's looking at an extra that shows a fractured hand, and he, he's thinking he's not going to play, and now he's scoring a touchdown on Saturday. It validates what he did through the week to get himself to that point. I don't want to back down. I don't really care what gets in the way anymore. I just know what I want to do, and I know that I want to do whatever I can to help contribute to the success of this football team. For Ronnie Stanley, it allows him to see that, hey, I can push through some injuries and help and assist the team, and it's the culmination of just a lot of effort to success. Reese downs the ball again, and that is it, over and out. Fighting Irish will win the game 17 to 13. And every player on both teams come to midfield to shake hands. They know how to win. It's a group of winners. They know how to win football games. And we'll take that with us anywhere we go when you have a group of guys that believe they can win and know how to win. Yeah. 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 Yeah.